welcome to this short video for uh, click geopoint so uh, this is my data I am loading this particular data and in this particular data we have cities and along with this link to the sales and then there is a separate uh, stores layer as well it's not linked so let's get started uh, I'm gonna just gonna draw a map here and I'm gonna add the point layer first it's gonna be city so I click geo capability automatically take care that it's a city so it take care of that it, uh, which field to get so and if you see city has automatically been done uh, but there is an issue that you know uh, the cities for example this one uh, Newcastle is actually from UK but it's showing me in uh, somewhere in southern Europe or uh, East Asia and then also we have uh, in Africa so and this is uh, St. Joe's which is uh, actually here in US so how to get uh, this particular thing resolved so for that we have the scope of the location so the scope of the location if I say the custom and I can define it's a city it's not anything else so currently it's getting the cities which is fine uh, but if I say uh, oh yeah that one issue is resolved if you see uh, because uh, um, St. Joe is essentially some state or something like that um, in here but this one is not still resolved so if I say I have a field uh, which has a country code so if I say the country code in here and uh, it's resolved that issue and if you say the country code should be in this format either this or this or it can be combination of those for example for some countries you have um, ISO code 2 and for some countries you have a proper name so it gets resolved automatically and that's one option we can also use the longitude and latitude in our data we have this option as well so if I say that I'm gonna use longitude and latitude so it's asked me what is the longitude and what is the latitude I'm gonna use that and it get it drawn automatically which is exactly the same that we have just done or we have the option uh, we want to use just the point uh, geographic point so I have created a point uh, which is combination of longitude and latitude and I got that in here so uh, these are three methods we can create this uh, layer so if we have long point there is no uh, thing no point in having the scope because it's automatically um, geo bound okay the next thing is uh, shape and size we can change the shape and size uh, of the point layer here as well so let's say we have uh, sales so I'm just wanna use this one as a sizer and we can adjust the bubble size uh, we can keep uh, or customize the range from which range this bubble should be having and this is size uh, customization and the range one is the um, other range part optimization and then we can use any kind of uh, marker here triangle or we can use a URL or image uh, we I have this image library for using image we just have to go in here and we can use uh, any image that we have in our uh, app if we don't have an app we can upload an uh, image and uh, then we can okay so I'm gonna go for triangles for now okay and then we have the color option so we can color by dimension or by any color so I'm gonna go by my year and the my year I'm gonna select as uh, number of customers so I have this customers there if I use that so that is uh, like number of customers and number formatting I can change and I can control the opacity of the data okay so I can see now you no know, things behind each other okay and then we can use the outline so if you can see clearly see there is an outline I can you know just change the outline or if you want to get rid of all it all together I can just change the opacity now there is no outline then there is a sorting option so in point this doesn't make and the sorting option doesn't make any sense um, okay, let's just uh, change the opacity a little bit uh, to make it more visible yeah okay so here we go so by default uh, it doesn't make sense the point layer to have the sorting 
but if you see some of the points the smaller points are hidden behind the main points so for example this point if you see these points so if i just uh, you know, take the zoom out this point is hidden so in order to make sure that we see every point and uh, we can use a sorting option here so here i'm going to go for the custom sorting i'm going to say sort by expression and in descending order because the thing that is going to be on top should be plotted behind first so it should be automatically getting behind so i say sum of sales in descending order sorry uh, here we go so now we see we have this point on top rather than behind okay so the next thing we're gonna do uh, discuss is the uh, legend so we have the options for the legends the legends are here so we can change them uh, we can also change this option as well if you want to show it or not we can show it by default there is a tool tip when we go in here um, all the kpis show up here um, but we can turn this off or on as we like and then we have the maximum visible objects option so let's uh, in this let's show me another we can add as many layers as we want uh, not just a point layer we can add different options so in this one i'm gonna add uh, store location we have i'm gonna add store location okay so we have this one so uh, we have 13,000 stores but all the stores are not here so as for now uh, let's just select us so that we can focus on certain area okay so now i go in options and i need to increase the size so i'm going to increase by 15,000, and let's see what happens it takes a little time and here i have so now i have a different marker uh, for point layer uh, for cities and different marker for stores and uh, let's see if i go into shape and size and i choose the image and i choose this sign for the stores so here we go yeah it's yeah, here we go we these are all the stores and then we have the cities i think they are behind because we have so many stores uh, they are not visible so we can make them in front just by changing this layer so we have this one now okay but we have all the cities so we might want to make sure that uh, to optimize further so let's go to the options now here and i can disable the selection uh, just by click this button and uh, now let's go to the layer properties we i can show uh, this layer property show and hide uh, by the way this is a default option we can put it not to show by default and let's say i is then zoom in into certain area and then i go to exploration menu here and i choose to turn this on at this point in time okay so this is how we can uh, just play around with this particular layer okay and then i'm gonna discard it for now okay and i'm gonna share i can exclude it from zoom so for example when we select it you saw you might have observed that it automatically zoom in so for example if i select this particular city it automatically okay so let's just do this selection because i have other areas as well so let's just do the both the selection so let's just select this particular part oops it's taking a little time because uh, this one is very huge layer so yeah you see it does that automatically we can exclude that you know when you click it doesn't automatically um in that auto zone and we can set the zoom level so this is where it gets further interesting so what i can do is i want it not to be sh you know the this particular layer um, the store layer by default it's visible for all the points uh, it's a very huge layer so you might have observed that it's not visible uh, it takes a lot of time to get populated so in order to optimize i can say that make it visible only at zoom level six 
So what is zoom level six? So uh, I will show that to you for in order to see the zoom level. Uh, we need to we can just scroll the button, but I'm going to show you in a different way as well. So I'm just turning on this navigation menu from the layers uh, overall properties of the map, and then I'm going to layers and <coughs> okay. So this is zoom level one, two one level, two level, three level, four level, five level. Okay. So this is a point where we start seeing this store. Or if I do a selection of a particular store city, and let's just select the stores. <coughs> so I have, I can only see that. And if you see, there is another option uh, and calculation condition. So we can conditionally show this Layer, for example, certain condition when it get fulfilled, I only see this. And if you see my data, uh, currently I have for stores, I have different icon. For cities, I have a different icon. It can be, you know, for my warehouse, I have a different icon. For other things, I have a different icon. Okay. Uh, then I have a tooltip. So I can customize my tooltip. Uh, tooltip is when we I hover the mouse, what it shows. So if you see, I have the options to add a lot of expressions. I can add measures. I can add charts. Um, I can add images. So the charts, in order, uh, if you want to see a very detailed video, there is uh, a detailed video uh, for adding things into tooltip, uh, uh, which is uh, linked in this particular description as well of this video. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching.